Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. On today's episode of Two Minutes of Anatomy, I'm going to speak about the subclavius muscle. The subclavius muscle is a chest muscle. It is small, but it is far from insignificant. The origin of the subclavius muscle is on the first rib medially. The insertion of the subclavius muscle is the middle of the clavicle inferiorly. The concentric action of the subclavius is the Depression and stabilization of the clavicle. It helps to stabilize the sternoclavicular joint, often abbreviated to the SC joint, and it is innervated by the nerve to the subclavius, which is vertebral levels C5 and C6. So the origin of the subclavius muscle is the medial aspect of the first rib. The insertion is the inferior aspect of the middle of the clavicle. The concentric actions are depression of the clavicle and stabilization of the clavicle. It helps to stabilize the sternoclavicular joint, which is where the clavicle and the sternum articulate. It is often abbreviated to the SC joint. The innervation is the nerve to the subclavius, which is vertebral levels C5 and C6. Hypertonicity of the subclavius muscle can contribute to a condition known as thoracic outlet syndrome, often abbreviated to TOS. When the subclavius muscle becomes hypertonic, it closes down or reduces the space of what is called the costoclavicular space. The brachial plexus is a network of nerves and it passes directly through the costoclavicular space. So this can cause pressure on the brachial plexus, which can lead to thoracic outlet syndrome.